It's important to take ownership of the operation and maintenance of your cooling tower and to work closely with the people involved in the process. This may include the building owner, property manager, mechanical services contractor and the water treatment contractor. Ryan is a waterwise specialist in cooling tower operation and he knows that the savings can be significant. We find huge amounts of water savings for businesses which equate to tens of thousands of dollars. Cooling towers are generally out of mind and out of sight which means they don't get the attention that they often deserve. So it seems to be an area with lots of opportunity. Absolutely, there's about 30,000 cooling towers across Australia and the ones we've looked at there's certainly opportunities or room for improvement in terms of water use savings. Well how about we take a look at some of the key tips for reducing water use in cooling towers. Okay, tip one. Cycles of concentration is your relationship between your total dissolved solids in your system and the, the fresh water makeup. Get that wrong, too low and you're wasting water. Too high and you get impacts to your system like scaling, fouling, corrosion and even health impacts like Legionella. So talk to your service providers, make sure you're optimising that cycles of concentration in your system. Minimise your water use through ownership of the system. Make sure the operators and the management own that system through regular checks and maintenance. And what do those checks involve? So together with Water Corporation we've generated a generic checklist that can be applied to any business and that includes things like checking of ball valves, system leaks, system design, all those types of things. So really good operation maintenance basically. Absolutely. Have a good relationship with your water treatment service provider clearly defines accountabilities and responsibilities. That contract should also define all the water use objectives, including monthly water treatment reports, which also include the optimum cycles of concentration, and not only the, the actual optimum one, but what's actually been achieved on the system. So clearly defined water efficiency targets are an important part of optimising performance. Absolutely. The cooling tower is an area where huge savings can be made. So take a closer look yourself to see where some simple changes can result in big savings to your water use and operational costs. For more tips on saving water for your business, visit watercorporation.com.au.